Hello, my name is Kevin Swan, and I'm a product marketing manager for MicroFocus ArcSight. On July 31st, MicroFocus launched ArcSight Recon, which is a security solution built for logging and compliance, but with built-in big data technology to speed up analysis, gather insights, and assist forensic security investigations. This is a quick look at ArcSight Recon in action. Today I'll show the dashboard, the user interface, and how to use Recon to start searching in your event logs. First up, let's get logged in. Let's take a look at the dashboard titled Health and Performance Monitoring. We've got a couple widgets displayed in this dashboard, and we'll make more videos about those in the upcoming videos. But for now, we'll look at these two. This is the event ingestion timeline. You can see the EPS displayed over time. This one right here is the database storage utilization. If you hover over it, you can see the available space, throughput, latency, and read time speed. Next, let's go to the search tab. You can see that I have some saved searches here already, but I'll just start with the saved search titled Attacks and Suspicious Activity. The events in this list are currently displayed in grid view, but up in the corner, I can change it to display it as raw view. I can export this data to a CSV, and I can hide or show columns and I can also reset the columns to their original state. If I left click on an event, we can see the event details panel pops up. This view lets you get a quick view of the category values of the event, which helps when you're looking for specific values to aid your threat hunting. Let's go up to the top right corner. Currently, it's set up on the last 30 minutes, but I can quickly specify another time set within the UI. To set up a dynamic range, Click the dynamic box and then specify your starting and ending times in relation to now. When you're done, click search and it will execute the search with the new parameters. If you want a faster way to specify a time range within the current view, you can simply click and drag to highlight the area you want to focus. If you click on the fields tab up here, you can specify which fields you want displayed. In the query, you can see that Recon has syntax highlighting with colors that make it easier for you to see and understand the different operators of the query. Let's click on the query to expand the view of it. And in this query, we're looking in the category significance column for threat indicators listed in the query. And we're also looking for threatening values in the category technique column. If I click on any one of these operators or values in the query, a drop-down box will appear with options I can choose from. To create a new query, just click New Search over here. The guided query suggestions help when creating new queries as well. So that's a quick look of Recon in action. We'll have more to come in subsequent videos. Be sure to subscribe to SecOps Unplugged for more ArcSight content like this. Thanks for watching.